Robinson Crusoe Jr. is interesting, a little bit questionable, but also when you look at the source material, you think, okay, they're pulling on stories that they haven't necessarily created themselves, but it's not exactly politically correct. As a Porky Pig, Porky Pig animation, it's quite interesting. I like the idea of Porky Pig representing kind of Robinson Crusoe. I think it's an interesting concept because this is obviously based on Crusoe and um, his man Friday. And with this, we have Porky Pig meeting what is described as a friendly African native. And they explore the island after the ship has been wrecked. And a lot of it is about exploring this different environment. And there's this really, so really catchy song where um, they're singing, I love coffee, I love tea. And it's, it's addictive and it's cheesy and it's a little bit peculiar. And I kind of find it really ent entertaining. The animation, the dancing animation, I think is very fluid and it works very well. A lot of repetition. The character of Porky Pig's African native friend, who he is basically persuaded to be his friend, is um, he's very friendly, he's very upbeat, he's got this very charismatic personality. He is drawn in a very stereotypical, stereotypical way. Um, I don't think for a second that it's politically correct the way he is drawn. The emphasis is almost caricatured. But at the same time, there are many white characters at this time that are heavily caricatured as well. So it's not necessarily in isolation but that's all fine and well the character is treated with respect everything is fine but then Porky Pig finds some human foot tracks and he follows them and he finds some more African natives but these are not um, with the same temperament and they charge at him and chase him out of their their cave um, or wherever he finds them in that enclosure their response is very physical, it's aggressive, they are yelling and shouting and they're throwing spears and it's definitely a very negative depiction of African natives at the time. But then you look at the visual animation and it's a little trippy because the visual, the way they're animated does look a lot like this more positive interpretation of an African native. So it's kind of mixed messages about these characters, what are they trying to say? Are they saying that because one of them is friends with Porky Pig and has a more, to want for a much better word, civil approach to life, he is worthy of going in that boat and, you know, sailing to America with Porky and, and having that life. And those who are on the island and in their original environment are savage. It's a horrible word, but obviously there are a lot of depictions at this time. So the actual... There are a lot of things in this that you could question. What are they? What message are they trying to give from this specifically? Obviously, we can compare it to the Robinson Crusoe Jr. Um, play that was released, I think, about 20 or 30 years before this. Um, there are obviously comparisons that can be made, but Warner Brothers had their time to do their own message with this. What is that message? Well, I don't know 100% what the message was. I think it's an interesting look at the concept of Robinson Crusoe Jr., the animation is certainly interesting up to a... Well, the whole thing's interesting, but it's pretty tame up until Porky finds the footprints. And then after that, you're watching with bated breath. And once the African natives come out with a, a much more negative interpretation, things take a very different turn. I enjoyed it to begin with. Well, I enjoyed it all from an educational perspective, from an art history perspective, uh, an animation history perspective, rather, because I find it interesting how different interpretations have changed over the years. But in terms of enjoying it as in, oh, that's a fantastic depiction, that's spot on, that's brilliant, obviously not. But I did like the beginning with the song and there's a particularly interesting par parrot character in this and it's quite comedic. And then the tone shifts and it's a bit questionable. So it's a roller coaster journey with this one. Um, definitely check it out if you're interested in animation or older animations with some unusual depictions. Well, not unusual, not unusual for the time, certainly. But um, today, definitely this would not exist like this. I enjoyed watching it for various reasons, some good, some educational. Definitely um, a very different type of Porky Pig cartoon.